Hi everybody, I'm Jay with Ukulele Jay Barbecue, and today what I'm gonna show you guys are some great bags called out of air vacuum bags. And they're for vacuum sealers that are both chamber sealers and they're traditional vacuum sealer like this one right here. The thing about chamber sealers that's great is that you can actually seal liquids in them without them being sucked out of the bag because the environment has the air taken out of it which creates a vacuum and then the bag is sealed versus this type of sealer which is a traditional vacuum sealer that actually sucks the air out of the bag and then seals the, the product inside. Now if you have a liquid of course it's going to suck the liquid all the way out of the bag and you're going to have a mess inside. So the great thing about this is you can use these standard vacuum sealer bags by out of air in chamber sealers and in these type of uh, standard sealers. Now there are smooth bags that are out there that are only for chamber vacuum sealers. You cannot use those in a standard vacuum sealer because there's no ridges or anything for things to, to grab and lock and then seal. So if it's an all smooth bag, you got to use it in a chamber sealer. If you use bags like this that are smooth on one side, corrugated on the other, they'll work both in a chamber vacuum sealer and a standard vacuum sealer. The thing I like about these bags are a couple features that have not come with my other bags. And I'm really excited they have this. First of all, there's a notch right here on each side of the bag, and that notch is a tear notch. So when you're done and it's sealed and you want to get something out, you just basically, if you're going to go on a trip, take something in the car, you basically just take this, tear it, and it comes open, which is fantastic. The other thing I really like is it has this white area to write on your permanent Sharpie, but it works with Sharpies, it works with pens, and uh, a lot of different you know, marker type material. And you can see it really easily. The other bags I have, once you write on it, you store things in it, it's very hard to read. So those are really the two really great features that I love about these bags. Now I've got some leftover fresh uh, grated mozzarella cheese that I had done, and I also have my block of uh, my mozzarella cheese that I'm gonna go ahead and seal up today. And the thing I like about this is you can get bags in pre-cut sizes. These are the six inch by 10 inch. They come in very large bags such as this. And here's another awesome feature with these bags. You can get them with a Ziploc top. So this top right here is Ziploc. It's sealed. You go ahead and feed everything in on the bottom side, seal it up right on it, and you can store it. And when you're done, if it's like a big, huge thing of, you know, check mix or, you know, cereal, things like that, and you're ready to use it, say, in a week or two weeks, you just tear the top off, and then you can open up, get your cereal or whatever's inside out, and then seal it back up without having to take it back into a vacuum sealer. Super awesome, super convenient. The other thing I like about these bags is they come in a size that lets me put them in my bag holder. This is a really cool holder I use for bags that come without a container and a cutter. I like to put them in here in the kitchen so I can take them out very quickly, zip them off and use them. Now, the one thing that's great about the out of air bags is they actually come in this format. So for those of you that don't have a bag holder, you don't need to get one. You can get this, and this is an 11 inch by 100 foot roll. Pull it out, put it across the top here, run it across, take off what you need, seal it up, you're good to go. Super, super convenient. Comes in a lot of different sizes, and I'm gonna go ahead and seal this up to show you how awesome these bags work. So I'm taking one of the pre-cut bags. This is the 10 inch by six inch. And normally when I do a bag, I use the notch or about an inch and a half down as my, as my kind of guide. And I always fold the bags over just as a habit because if you put anything in these bags that's wet and you get anything on top of this area where you're gonna seal the bag up here, you're gonna have problems sealing it. And if it seals, it might have a micro hole, which it'll look sealed initially, and you go back 15 minutes later and you see the bags expand and there's air in it. So you wanna make sure this is totally dry all the way around the top of the edge. The lights come on and then it's gonna stop here in about one or two seconds. It's actually starting to crush the cheese. So you have different settings on here. There's a dry, there's a wet, there's a moist setting. So make sure you, you pick the right setting. You could do dry for this because I want this super tight, fantastic bag. Works like a champ. Check it out. We'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby.